like they say, the moment of truth has arrived here. Let's see if this starts. Now, I should mention something. One of the reasons I like having these accessory boost pumps is it's so easy to bleed the system. And you know we entered some air into the fuel system by taking those hose off. So I want to see whether or not just by using the boost pump, I can get the engine started without using the hand pump. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on. Look at that, you can see, you can see the pump pumping. We're just gonna give it a few seconds here. And I can tell by the change in the sound of the pump. Look at that, we've got air coming out of the lift pump. <laughs> That's really cool. We've got air moving up the line from the lift pump into the fuel filter. Let's see if we got anything coming back from the return. Oh, it's too dark to see. But it's looking pretty good now. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Now, let's see. Is it going to cough? Is it going to sputter? No, it's not. Look at that. This is why I love these boost pumps and these old diesels. <laughs> Shut her down. <laughs> How do you like that? How would that have started after changing those fuel lines if you hadn't had a boost pump? Let me introduce you to my new performance upgrade for these old W123 Mercedes diesels. I've done this to my own cars, but I've never offered this upgrade before. And it all started about four days ago when somebody on YouTube asked me, hey, Kent, do you have a fuel injection delivery rear end kit for my 300D? Well, we all know that the fuel pumps aren't in the back. And I kind of chuckled, but I said, you know, in the past, I've done that. And I can't believe the performance increase, both in starting and in power, when you add a low pressure fuel pump in the system, which delivers more pressure to the lift pump at the bottom of your injection pump. Now go ahead and look real closely. See if you can see what I've done here. I've tried to minimize the visual impact and I've also installed this kit so you only have to drill three holes in the original chassis. Here is the pump. This is just an amazing pump. It operates at about five or six PSI. It's reasonably quiet. You will not hear it over the sound of the diesel engine. And I'm amazed at the ability for this pump to draw from the tank that far away. I'm going to show you a test that we did on this, and you'll see just how much fuel this can deliver. But it will not overpressurize your injection pump. So we've got it hooked up to 12 volt power. Let's see how well this pumps diesel. Not even primed, okay? Oh, look at that. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. That's more than enough fuel, look at that. And here's the plate I include, which has a switch for the pump. Normal operation, you just leave the pump on because we have a keyed power source going into the fuse box. And on the bottom of this is a relay, which powers the fuel pump. I first learned about the value of having these boost pumps on these old Mercedes diesel engines when we were running SVO or waste vegetable oil. And when I started putting this kit together, I said, I got to have all kinds of terminals and wires and everything. And I came up with a different idea. When I was putting the prototype together, I said, why not? Let's offer this as a plug and play. <laughs> You're only going to have to drill a couple of holes and make a few connections and you'll have this running in your car probably within an hour to an hour and a half. This is the lead that goes over to the battery or your main bus. That is fused, comes in here to the relay. The relay is powered by a connection into the fuse box here. And then, of course, I put this switch. All this is wired for you with instructions, and you're going to have to make a couple of ground connections here, and you're going to have to make a connection to the pump, and you're going to have to connect to the battery. That's it. You'll be amazed how quickly you can get this installed and working. I should mention I'm also considering offering this kit with two switches and a keyed power source which will allow you to connect to them as well as two relays. You'll be able to use that when you want to power two things like a boost pump and a boost heater if you're running waste vegetable oil. Everything else is the same. You'll just have one extra switch and relay to connect. 
So what is this going to do for your old Mercedes diesel anyway? I should mention here that this is the W123. You can put it in the W115, the W160, and the W126. It's just that this prefabrication is not going to fit. You'd have to cut wires and change hose riding and so on. This new boost pump will basically do three things for you. Number one, it's going to make it so easy to bleed the fuel system after you do any maintenance, after you replace any fuel lines, and even if you run out of fuel. All you have to do is turn the pump on. Many times you will not even need to use the hand primer pump. Number two, it's going to make an old engine start faster and run smoother right after startup. You know, a lot of these old diesels will start and they'll shake and... <laughs> And it can be, uh, you know, compression, glow plugs, it can be worn lift pump and so on. But adding boost pressure to the injection pump, it's just going to make that engine start quicker and run smoother at idle when it's cold. And then third, you may notice a power increase. Now, this is not guaranteed. It depends on the condition of the engine. But I found as these engines age, particularly injection pump, delivery valves, lift pump, you got to remember the lift pump can't be overhauled. It can be recheck valved. And when those lift pumps get tolerances inside, they lose some of their ability to pull fuel from the tank. So you've got this five to six PSI pump that's adding boost to the lift pump, which in turn delivers a more steady fuel flow to the fuel injectors. And in closing, you know, I mentioned the three things, but there's some other subtle things, like let's say your fuel tank screen is partially plugged. This is going to help pull fuel from the tank. You have dirty tank screen. It's also going to help push fuel through the fuel fillers if you happen to have aging fuel fillers that aren't performing as well as they did. So for a number of reasons, I think you're going to find this is an amazing upgrade for the price and the ease of installation. That completes the installation for the fuel pump boost upgrade. But I need to mention the electrical part of this kit, which includes the plate, the switch, and the relay, can be used to power other things. So I'm going to offer just the electrical part of the kit, less the pump, with other kits that require a keyed power source and a relay. One of them would be electric heater for running vegetable oil. Now this is one of my older inline electric heaters that you would use when running waste cooking oil or SVO. I have a couple of these. I'm going to sell them, but I'm going to sell them with this electrical kit so that you'll know how to install this because you do need to power this with a relay directly from your battery. You don't want to try to power this from the factory electrical system. Now, here's another type of electric boost heater. This is one I developed. This will also be offered with the electrical components of this kit. So if you're installing a boost heater. You can even install fog lights or running lights. You just have to follow the instructions for installing the electrical in your car and then you're going to take the power lead coming off the relay and you're going to connect it to whatever you want to power. These fuel boost heaters for running waste cooking oil is a really good option for using this kit.